Tonight on CBS 19, 10 at 10, giving the gift of fitness. We will show you the gadgets out there to provide you extra motivation to exercise and get in shape. That's in tonight's Fit City Report on 10 at 10. Now on to the morning's top stories. Good morning. Thanks for joining us for the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Dana Huey. Clint Yates has the morning off. If you're headed to the emergency room at an East Texas hospital, be prepared to wait. Doctors say this time of year when they're flooded with more patients than normal. Dr. Joshua Stringer at UT Health Northeast says upper respiratory viruses have been the main issue this year. Dr. Stringer says his emergency room is treating 40 to 60 people a day. He says doctors always try to be fast and kind, but sometimes they get bogged down as more people come through the doors. The wait really varies. It depends upon the time that you come in. Um, right now we're slammed, um, but you know, three hours ago, there was nobody in the waiting room. It's, uh, it's not easy to predict. Dr. Stringer says at his hospital, they're seeing about 10 more patients a day than they normally see. He adds this year hospitals have been hit sooner with more patients suffering cold and flu symptoms. A Longview murder trial resumes at 9 this morning. That's when a verdict is expected to be reached in Troy Sadler's trial. He's accused of shooting and killing Orion Peoples in 2011. Tuesday, jurors were shown different pieces of evidence to prove Sadler's responsibility. Troy Sadler has been in the Gregg County Jail since his arrest in 2011. He's charged with murder and aggravated assault. A grieving East Texas family starts an online petition to change emergency calls from hotels and motels. It stems from the murder of Carrie Dunn, stabbed to death December 1st in Marshall. Her estranged husband, Brad Dunn, is charged with the crime. Family members on the website claim Carrie's oldest daughter, at nine, saw her mom being attacked, but didn't know to dial nine to get an outside line. They want all phone systems updated so a person would be automatically connected to a dispatcher if they dial 911. The petition called Carrie's Law already has well over 2,300 supporters. A memorial service is scheduled for Texas country music artist Ray Price. Price died Monday at his ranch just outside of Mount Pleasant. The service is planned for 1 p.m. Saturday at the First Baptist Church in Mount Pleasant. Let's get over to Scott Fossey with your forecast. Dana, as we take a look at your Thursday weather forecast, temperatures very mild for this time of the year. It will be windy too, like wind advisories in effect until 6 p.m. tonight. Look for highs today to climb into the upper 60s. We'll sit pretty close to 67 degrees by 5 p.m. As we take a look at the forecast graphic, clouds from time to time, especially this afternoon, thickening, lowering around the East Texas area. This particular computer model bringing moisture back up into East Texas. I think it'll be mid and upper level moisture. Won't be hitting the ground at least by 4 35 o'clock this evening, but overnight tonight is slight chance for some scattered showers. Best chance for rain for us comes on Saturday, although noon on tomorrow will call for a 30% chance. Main part of the storm system, the core of the upper level low moving out of West Texas up Wichita Falls Way Saturday. And along with it, some scattered strong thunderstorms and some rain across East Texas. Mild day this weekend, Friday and Saturday. It'll be cooler Sunday. Rain moves out in the morning. For the latest all day long, go to CBS19.tv.